What's up, all crazy YouTube lovers? It's Abby here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a dollhouse tour. Um, I'm just going to say this out loud. I'm sorry, Dempo Sunday. I have like 1,100 million videos. I don't even think that's a number um, to, that I could have filmed. Instead, I want to film this one right now. Whatever. Um, before we get started, I have a special announcement. I got a new doll. Her name is June. Rose, and I think she's so cute and pretty. I love her hair. Look at that. Anyways, with her comes, like, I think the final doll I'm gonna, well, new, go, new doll I'm gonna get for a while. I don't, I'm not, like, in love with any other dolls. Maybe when American Girl posts their new Chili Me line, I might fall in love with another one, but I don't think I will anytime soon. So, yeah, anyways, let's get started. So we're gonna get started in the kitchen. Here's a quick little <coughs> overview. Oh my gosh, my tripod lever is squeaky. There we go. Um, it still is. So this kitchen is kind of inspired by my friend Avery's kitchen because she has like, actually I think all of her walls are gray, but like her kitchen's really skinny, but it's super cute. The main part of this kitchen is the Our Generation kitchen set. And this one is like one of the newer ones. This is like the flower themed one. Um, and I actually do keep food in that fridge if any of you are wondering. I have gray wallpaper on this side. It's actual wallpaper. And then funny story about my dollhouse. It's made of the PAX IKEA system. And we just flipped it on the side just like a closet system. Um, funny thing, when we were at IKEA with my dad, um, we bought the wrong size one, so we have two different sizes, so um, obviously we want the sturdy one to be on the bottom, so the bigger one is on the bottom, which is this one as you can see, the smaller one is on top, so there's like um, a little hallway at the top, so I actually have half of a wall as you might be able to see, let's zoom in, wow, there you go, so I have a half of a wall, and I think it actually looks good because I had an extra wall that I didn't need. So, but I think, yeah, I think it just adds to it. Now we're going to move on to the living room. I literally almost forgot to turn on the Christmas tree. Anyways, this is the living room. Um, this, and it's also the dining room because it's really big. It doesn't look really big, but like in person it's huge. So, in this room we have the little Christmas tree with the little presents. I don't know where we got the tree. Um, well, actually, I don't know where we got the tree, but I don't know how we got it. So when we were in Colorado, I was like really little, and it was the first time we've ever been skiing, and I was just like, Mom, we forgot the Christmas tree. And so she got like this really tiny one with this blue tree skirt, and now I can use it for my dolls. Um, it has like little twinkly lights on it, and it has some pretty ornaments that are like really small. They're vibrant colors. I love that. And these little presents are from Michaels. Let's zoom in so you can see better. No. Okay, there you go. They're so cute and perfectly doll sized. But it would be suspicious to have like all your presents the same size. Whatever, it's cute. I like it. Moving on. We have, oh, I forgot to mention it. I changed the flooring. So, it used to be this piece of fabric that was from like Hobby Lobby, it was brown, it didn't look very good. I thought it was going to look kind of like carpet, and then I found this at Michael's the other day, and um, I'm not trying to compete Hobby Lobby with Michael's, but um, anyways, I found this material, it looked like a carpet, and I think it looks very good, very nice and light, which is the theme that the kind of kitchen and living room area is going for. So it's like it's not heavily colorful, so that the rooms really stand out. All right. Anyways, next is the table. Um, so this is the Our Generation picnic table, and it's pink, which matches the couch actually. Um, I think I got it for Christmas last year. Or the no, two years ago. And right beside it, there's this little chair so that I can fit more dolls and this little, it was a fireplace but then my dog ate the logs because she thought it was poop and she's poop which is disgusting. And then she decided that she would eat everything else on it so that's what happened to that. And right beside the little fireplace there's this door 
really cute. I actually made it and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Basically, I took a picture of a house from a magazine, which actually ripped. Oh, so sad. Um, and I put like, well, it was a piece of cardboard. And then I put white paper on it and then I cut out that picture and then I put like two little strips of paper and now it looks like a window and then a brown construction paper knob. It looks so cute, honestly. And it's like perfectly doll size. Love that so much. And over there, oh, you can't really see the tree very well, but there's a mini, mini tree. And then there's, there's this little sign that says joy, hope, Noel, and happy Xmas. Because not all of us have to be Christians to celebrate Christmas, so that's cute. And uh, we'll move the tripod so you can see better. We have the doll. Oh. We have the doll picture wall. It has all my dolls in order from age. So Leah, Emily, uh, Mason, Nina. I almost forgot her name there. Bailey, Julie, Grace May, and Felicity there at the bottom. And I haven't taken a picture of June, so I'm going to need to do that. Um, so now I can officially say I have nine dogs because there are eight pictures here and now with June. Anyways, the last part of this room is the couch. It's this pink American Girl couch and I remember I got this couch when my sister got Leah because she wanted a doll but I didn't really want a doll because we ha already had some dolls which some of them I don't have anymore. I used to have a Rebecca, a Kit, and uh, truly me that was supposed to look like my sister. Um, but anyways, we, I, I got this couch, it's super cute. I used to have a bunch of pillows on it, but I needed them for the bedrooms more than I needed them for the couch, so that's where they went. And uh, on top of it, there's this little elf keychain that's pretty much doll size, and I think it's so cute. And um, yeah, it just moves around every day. Now we're gonna move on to the different rooms, starting with Felicity and Bailey's. All right. So this is Felicity and Bailey's room, which I said before. Their, wa their walls are white. I literally thought about painting one of them, but this material that the wood's like covering in, it's not really meant for painting on. And uh, so I looked through my contact paper, didn't really find one that I like, but I, I think I'm gonna print out some more photos. There's a little Starbucks icon because Bailey works at Starbucks, which I'm actually working on stop motion for, for right now. Anyways. They have two beds that go like this, and then two nightstands, which are both different. Both of them are different boxes, and they're both actually, the beds are actually made of their boxes, and then I just cover them on the sides with scrapbook paper. They both have these plaid uh, blankets. On Felicity's bed, she has one of the pillows from the, the light just turned off. Oops. One of the pillows from the Our Generation camper set, um, that I just cut off the little mattress thingy. I didn't really like the way it looked on there. Um, and I need more pillows. She also has this blue one that I made, plaid one, and this little squishy ball thing. I forgot what they're called. Like, I don't, I don't, I just don't remember. Um, it's kind of ugly, honestly. I'm going to say that there. It's kind of ugly, but I still like it. Both of you likes it. That's all that matters. Um, Felicity's side table, zoom in, we're very far out, uh, Felicity's side table has a Julie's lamp, it's so cute, I just got, along with my, um, grandma and dad's side of the family Christmas, my grandma got me this Julie's side table set, and this lamp is so cute, I love it so much, so iconic, Julie collection is probably my favorite out of all of them. She has this little tote. It's actually a jewelry making kit. I have two of them. Um, and then on the side, there's a pony that fell off the table, which I actually made for, it was supposed to be a cat tree, but I mean, it don't look like cat tree, it look like table. So it's a table now, side table. And then over here, we have Felicity's nightstand. She has two different plants. This is like, the container for this one is actually, <coughs> like a little pail, I guess that's what it's called, from the Dollar Tree, and it's like mini, and I, the plant does not fit very well in it, but I still think it looks cute. The other one is from Michael's, it's like a terracotta mini plant holder, and I think it's so, so cute. 
And then over there, there's a little toy thing. I don't know, I already get many little random toys and I use them for my dolls. And then there's another little, her little tote for the jewelry um, kind of kit thing. And then this is her bed. Um, she has the other pillow from the Our Generation little pink pillowy thing. This is, this sounds so complicated. Um, and then there's also a little beanie baby, little tiny keychain that I cut off the keychain and it looks like a stuffed animal. And I uh, can't forget about this, but up above Felicity's bed, there's a little, okay, so it was a scrapbook kit and uh, from American Girl. And I used it, and I don't know if it was me or my sister, but we made that wonderful masterpiece, and it actually looks really good, so I'm pretty sure it was my sister, because we got it back in 2014, which is quite a while ago. And, um, it just has randomness on it. I just, I don't know. Most of these into acting, so I thought it would look really good, and I just found it one day. We also can't forget this little mini tree in the corner. It's not really doll size, but it's so cute. Gotta give it to this little tree, so cute. All right, now we're gonna move on to the other girls' rooms. This is June and Nina's room. So in their room, they have, oh, this is the hallway toes. I was talking about this upper thing. What's it called? Upper story has lighting from Ikea in it. Um, but this is their bed. It's a day bed made out of some foam board and uh, I think it looks really cute. My cat, well this cat's actually resembling her I guess, even though she doesn't really look like her. Um, underneath there's this fluffy blanket and my cat loves to lay on top of it. She likes soft things, I do too. We're on the same page here. They have a bunch of little pillows. That one's from the couch. This one I made, well actually my mom made. This one was actually an, um, a cushion that you were supposed to use for putting pins in, but I use it as a pillow. And then this one I made, there's their cat. Over here is probably like my favorite area of the room. I just, I don't know what it is. It just looks so cute. We have Julie's side table, and uh, on it we have the little phone um, that comes with it. I didn't know it came with it, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. I saw one from Courtney's Clashin. They're so cute. Um, uh, she also has like a hardback book and a little purse. And inside, I don't think I put anything in there. There's the little rug that goes with it. And then there's, they have, well, June and Nina are into music, so there's a lot of like musical elements in here. So one of which is this guitar. Then there's a little plant over there. Then on this wall, there's this little paper that I just painted with some purple paint. I don't know, I think it kind of ties in some of the purple accents of the room. On their wall, they have this little, what's it called? Garland, I guess? And it has like this tissue paper little things on it. I don't know what they're called. I'm sorry, I forgot. And uh, I, I had a tutorial on it. I don't remember what video it was from anymore, but it was really easy. Um, then I made these little tiny records. I think they're so cute. There's two over there and two over here. And then also on the wall there's um, musical posters. So these are just some of the, like the big musicals that I enjoy some of the music in it. Which is uh, Dear Evan Hansen, Wicked, Le Misery Albus, and Hamilton, which I actually saw on Disney Plus. It's really good. And I just really like all those musicals and so I thought Hey, they're into music, they probably like musicals, slap these on the wall, boom. They Then this is like a front of a card that I got my baptism from my aunt and my uncle and I literally cut the front of the card because I thought it looked so cute. And then there's also random things from different um, stop motions I've done on my channel. And then since Nina is into self care and meditation, yoga, she has some little signs over there. But she does not believe in chakras. I don't believe in chakras, so like it would be kind of weird to have a doll that believes in chakras if I don't really know much about it. And uh, in their room, they have this oak wood kind of flooring, but it's really covered up. And then on their wall, their wallpaper is from either Dollar Tree or Lowe's. I think it looks really cute. Now we're gonna move on to Leah and Emily's room. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, now we're gonna move on to their room. 
Alright, as I said, here is Leanne and Emily's room. I forgot another doll's name, seriously. They also have a bed that's made out of a doll box. Um, they just have a little stuffed animal, and then that's... Okay, so me and my sister used to be into Barbies, so along with the little pillow, this pink one, and their room, not the heart one, but the other one, and Nina and June's room, um, we made that for our Barbies as like a bed, and uh, we've had it ever since. It fits perfectly as a headboard, so it's like a headboard slash pillow. In their room, their room is really simplistic, I ought to say. It's just kind of calm, I guess, kind of quiet. Um, they have a window above their bed. They have this little desk area with a little stool. This is like a wooden crate from, I don't know what the company's called, but it's like a, like a kid toy company. Had it since I was like three or four, so a while. Well, sent Doug, that's where it's from. Uh, they have a little computer made a little computer map pad thing. You can't really see it. They have two miniature tor turtles, turtles from different places that I've vacationed on. And then a little sticky note pad that my friend's little sister um, got me. So thank you, Aubrey, if you're watching this. Don't know if you are or not. And then there's the, also this little miniature plant. Then to the side here, they have their own dollhouse. It's not with miniature American Girls because I only have one. It's just made of these like LOL something things that I've had for two days since Christmas. My Aunt Carolyn is not really up to date. Anyways, I still like them. I thought that they would be perfect for my dolls. Then they also have some signs on the wall. This one says keep calm and pray on which is Philippians 4 I think. And then this one says keep calm and relax. And then this one says never tell me the ons by Han Solo. I think that that's so true. Sometimes we don't really focus on the risk, but like the adventure part of it. We just focus on, I don't know if it's going to work. I don't know how it's going to go, but like I think that that's so true. And then we have this little lantern hanging from actually the light wire. Hashtag hacks. And then they have these two little signs. Oh no, you can't see them. Oh, there we go. What really, this one says, what really wows me, knocks me out about a book is a book. Oh my gosh, it sounds like I have dys dyslexia. What really knocks me out is a book. That when you're done reading it, you wish that the author what wrote, that wrote it was a terrific friend of yours and you could call him up whenever you feel like it. That's so true. And then this one says, we lose ourselves in books and we find ourselves there too. If my um, teacher was watching this, Mr. Tree fall over. Mr. Apakichi was watching this. He loved that quote, so I'm um, send it to him someday, even though I don't have his number. Anyways, let's move on to the other room. The last room, actually. No, not the last room. The second to last room. Here is Grace May and Julie's room. This is the last room in the dollhouse, and uh, their room mainly consists of their bunk bed. Grace May's bunk is on top, and uh, in her bed, she just has this move closer this crochet little thing I don't want my uh, I, for this room I stole a lot of my sister's stuff she made this she never really used it so I think she's okay with me having it um, another thing that I stole from my sister was Julie's Squishmallow a matching pink one for Grace May is this one that I actually won at a, a carnival kind of place in what is it called Pensacola Florida and then there's two little other stuffed animals. This is like her collage wall. It has a Mixie Pixie 7 meetup card that I got from Mixie Pixie 7's meetup when she came to Dallas. Um, this sign that says dance like nobody's watching. And then there's this other one that says princess material. And then just a bunch of things I made on the wall too. These are two little magnets. Um, I think that they display Grace May's personality perfectly. Like a heart and kissy face. Wow. And then, oh no, I stepped on, ow, I just cracked an ornament with my foot. Um, and then, oh no, it fell. There was a collage board, like cork board hanging from there, but it fell. And then Julie's bunk is over here. Um, she just has this bed bunk thing. 
She had a little wooden crate thing that could store some of her stuff, but it fell down. So some of the stuff is in her bed. And she also has the squishy mallow. This one's the one that I stole for my sister. Sorry, Erica, if you're watching this. And then on their beds, they also have like this sign. This one says Grace May, but it's covered up a bit. There we go. Then this one says Julie, which is also covered up by the ladder. All right, and that's the dollhouse part, but we also have another room, so let me go show you that. This last room is honestly such a hot mess. Um, so this is, we're not zoomed out. All right, so this is in my old bunk bed. This is like the first kind of dollhouse. Me and my sister had two, and the other one had the ladder on that side, so we put them together. Wada wada bay up. Um, we had like a little dollhouse of our own. Um, and then it was, this one was painted purple. I only have one now. This one was painted purple, but I painted it, repainted it very recently to this pretty like blue color for him. I actually painted my wall this color, my accent wall. I don't want to show you because it, uh, it's a little messy in my room. And then um, down here, it's like this hangout area. He has a little couch that's just this, that was the pink thing that the pillows were knit, not knit, like had string onto it, attached to, I should say, from the Our Generation Camper. But I folded it, put it on my American Girl box, and now it's a couch. It has a little bookshelf kind of thing in his room. All right, so this cardboard thing was supposed to be a wall. It looked like the same color as the wall that, like, as, I mean, as the bed. It's not, obviously. And supposedly out here, because literally all my umbrella lights and stuff are right next to it. But whatever, we're just gonna have to go. And then I should my bookshelf so it would be like white. Also, I made this because if I was ever gonna film, I do not want my disgusting wire, light wires and camera stuff just ruining the mood. And uh, up here is his bed. It doesn't have any pillows on it, it's just this blanket that I literally just stole from Nina. <laughs> I'm not finished setting his up, up his room yet, I just, but anyways, this is his room slash apartment, I guess. No, it's still part of the dollhouse. I consider it if I ever was gonna film um, with it. And I would say that it's part of the dollhouse. But anyways, this is my dollhouse tour. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm probably gonna do a new one whenever I change it drastically in like a year or so. But I just had an awkward moment of silence. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, as always, make sure you give this video a like. Make sure you subscribe and stay subscribed because, like, I work really hard on my videos every single week. Um, so don't miss it. It's really fun here. We support everybody. Black lives matter. All lives matter, but black people are hurting right now. I don't know why I said that, but it's true. Anyways, I'm getting off track. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, like I said, and I will see you guys next week. Bye, see you soon.